Now let's look at one that's a little bit fancier. This one combines molarity as a conversion factor and molar mass because we're given information about grams of one thing and milliliters of another. We've already done lots of stoichiometry where we did grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. Now we just did one milliliters to moles, moles to moles, moles to mils. Now we can combine these. So we can think of two different trains. We have grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams, and we have milliliters to moles, moles to moles, moles to mils. But there's no reason that you can't hop between the two and go milliliters to moles to moles to grams, or, or this way, down to grams to mils. So all you have to do is read carefully and think about what information do I have and how can I use that. What's the concentration of the hydrochloric acid solution if 0.263 grams of sodium carbonate is neutralized by 28.35 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution? At this point in time, I would expect that you could take this problem, words only, and that you could write this equation. We've done nomenclature, so you know what sodium carbonate is and hydrochloric acid. Now we go into what we've done with double replacement chemistry so you can trade partners, make sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. And that's what I expect you can do by the time we get to the end of this section, that you could take the words and convert it to an equation. Now, once you have the equation, we need to balance the equation. That's always the first step. So I have two sodiums here, so I need two sodium chlorides. Now I have two chlorines, so I need two HCl. And I make one water and one carbon dioxide. Then look at this and write down your conversion factors. I know information about the sodium carbonate in grams. Since I have grams of sodium carbonate, it means that I'm going to need the molar mass of sodium carbonate. Anytime you have the mass of one of the reactants, you'll need the molar mass. So I grab my periodic chart and I write this down. 105.988 grams is one mole of sodium carbonate. Now if I look at the uh, hydrochloric acid, I know that I have 28.35 milliliters of HCl. And I'm asked, what is the concentration? So I want moles of HCl per liter of HCl. And I know that I'm allowing the sodium carbonate and the HCl to react. So that means I need a conversion factor between them. So I get two moles of HCl per one mole of sodium carbonate. So now I have all the information that was given to me in the problem and that I could infer from the equations. So how would I start this one? Sure, I'll start with my grams of sodium carbonate. 0.263 grams of sodium carbonate. Now what? Molar mass, change grams to moles. One mole of sodium carbonate is 105.988 grams of sodium carbonate. So now the units I have are moles. Now what? Mole ratio. Two moles of HCl uses one mole of sodium carbonate. Now I want my answer in moles of HCl per liter. So what's next? My moles of sodium carbonate have canceled. What do I do next? Mm -hmm. 
The unit I want is moles of HCl per liters of HCl, and right now I have moles of HCl. Put liters on the bottom. Put liters on the bottom, sure. One liter is 1,000 milliliters. Now what? So now I put my 28.35 milliliters of HCl on the bottom. So my milliliters cancel. I get the units I want, moles per liter, and it's 0 0.175. So we've looked at some really different kinds of problems. Molarity is a conversion factor, and you can use it in many, many different kinds of problems. So now... I have one for you to try on the next page. Um, you're going to look at finding the molarity of lithium hydroxide if it neutralized potassium hydrogen phthalate. Now, we call potassium hydrogen phthalate KHP, but this is not a chemical formula. This is an abbreviation. There is no phosphorus in this. This is the formula for potassium hydrogen phthalate. Okay, hydrogen phthalate comes from phthalic acid, and there's no phosphorus in it. So go ahead now, and let's have you um, do that one with your groups on your boards.